Tommy Hawk doing the tech news now. Looking at this article today in Wired.com, how the smart remote lost its way. We're talking about the Harmony line of remotes put out by Logitech. Here's my story with regard to this line of awesome remotes that I've been using now for the last five, ten years easily. So the story is, I see commercials all the time for the Logitech Harmony remote, and it's like, looks amazing, but I don't know much, so I go find out at the store, and it's $100 to start off. Like, the minimum price on a remote was 100 bucks, and compared to other remotes, universal remotes that were like five ten dollars i was like why would you spend a hundred dollars on a remote when you have these other ones that does the same thing for like five ten dollars boy was i wrong what i ended up finding out was that none of the remotes that you could buy for five or ten dollars at the store um just about any store uh, those do not actually turn on all your devices independently like the Harmony line of remotes do. So when I found that out, I was very intrigued and I was totally skeptical of spending $100 on a wireless remote. I scoffed for many years at the idea. I actually laughed at the idea of spending $100 and I just passed by the Harmony for a couple of years after I first heard of it. So then I got really in depth into uh, researching what it was about and why would you spend a hundred bucks. And then I finally took the plunge when I researched it off of the Logitech site and I spent the hundred dollars on my first remote. Basically it allows you to uh, configure a certain number of devices. So uh, lower end remotes, you can use a smaller number of devices and a higher end remote, you could use more devices. And this is all with controlling your home theater. So I buy my $100 uh, Logitech remote for the first time. I set it up. Uh, it knows all of my devices perfectly, even ones that I thought were very obscure. And it works perfectly with them. And it basically makes my life a ton easier. I can now hit one button and it will turn on the TV, the stereo, all the components, and then flip them to the appropriate inputs that they need to be on. Something I would have to manually do every time I turned on a component of my home theater. Total pain in the rear. I do not want to do that at all. So the Logitech had fulfilled this aspect that I didn't even know. Uh, you know, I, I hated it, but I didn't even know how much I hated it till Logitech showed me that it could be a different way. It has now been easily five, six, seven, maybe ten years that I've been using uh, various different Logitech Harmony re remotes. <clears throat> Most of them being at the lower end, as I don't have a lot of um, theater components, but Nonetheless, um, these remotes are amazing. They are awesome. They have, you can connect online to a huge database of um, components and devices for your home theater. They usually can download the appropriate button configuration uh, and make it very, very simple for you to control your home theater. Uh, so today I am very, very disappointed to hear that um, Logitech is discontinuing this line of remotes. And then as I read through this article here, it mentions the history of the Logitech remote and it was actually purchased from a Canadian company who wanted to basically make a universal remote that would be the likes of replacing every remote in your every remote in your living room. I thought, "Wow, that is amazing." So, Logitech purchased them up and now Logitech is like flushing them down the toilet and I'm just totally totally disillusioned because I have multiple remotes I believe heavily in the Harmony brand I can't believe they're doing this this is akin to me to like when Sony discontinued the PlayStation Vita something so amazing and so uh, has a potential to be in everybody's home and they just drop the ball like I, I don't understand what's going on with Logitech Tech here this is one of the best products I've ever seen um, them produce and I use quite a bit of Logitech's hardware. I use uh, keyboards, mice, for many, many years I have, and finally got into the Harmony brand of remotes, and boy, best thing I've ever done in my life. I used to scoff at them, and now I don't know how I, I've lived without it, quite honestly. I, uh, I am deeply, deeply saddened by this news, and I really, really hope that Logitech does something to bring this back, uh, redo it, 
re-advertise it. I don't know what it's got to be. Make just maybe one remote as opposed to many. I know they were trying to get into more uh, going from like old um, set-top box type of remote functionality into the new modern um, remotes that work with uh, internet devices. So a remote that comes with your Roku. I think uh, Logitech has said that basically those are the remotes of the future and so we, we can't compete with that. And, you know, that's like video game manufacturers saying, we're not going to make mobile games because they're all on cell phones, you know, so we're not going to have a dedicated hardware for that. It's just, uh, it's not right. I think Logitech could do better with the Harmony remotes, advertise them better, maybe come up with one or two products rather than the whole gamut that they have to try to uh, cover set-top boxes and the new internet uh, craze that's that's sweeping the nation for uh, basically cutting the, the, the cable and going over to internet. So, I don't know, Logitech, you have broken my heart here, and it seems to me that we're going backwards in technology, and I can't stand this. I feel like we're going back to being cavemen rather than being people of the future, and really there has to be a great um, a great product to come and fill the hole for this remote, because it really is an amazing product. Uh, I can't believe that it's being just flushed and, and you know wiped down the toilet. So, uh, I really hope that... Uh, Someone will pick up on this and fill in where Logitech is dropping the ball. Thanks for listening.